Yo Fukugamers, welcome back to another Hearts of Iron 4 video. Today, I will be playing Hearts of Iron as Germany. However, a little twist. Every 15 minutes, I will spin this wheel. There's a bunch of shit on it that could happen to me. Most of it is bad. I'll put it on the screen so you can see what it is. Um, most of it is bad, as I said. A few are good, so let's hope we get a... Let's hope I get a bit lucky. For you, it would be a lot more fun. Leave a like if you liked spinning the wheel. If it just start out by scrolling straight onto Declare War on Everyone. Uh, not for me though. So, you know, let's hope the video stays a little... Can get a little longer than just me declaring war on everyone and dying instantly. Maybe subscribe and leave a suggestion to put on the wheel. But yeah, I uh, hope you enjoy this. I'll put on the timer in a bit once I've set everything up. I'm at least gonna give myself that. If you are okay with that. Are you okay with that? So, because I wanted to consolidate my navy, I accidentally put on the time for a small amount. Uh, in order to compensate for that, I will just start off with a spin. So here we are. Spinala. Let's do the first one. Okay. Mm I was really afraid that it was gonna have me delete 5,000 guns. However, now I have to delete my entire tank stockpile. So, let's... Uh, thankfully I only have three extra tanks and okay let me just get this thing out of the way and let me delete my panzer stockpile and I'll show you that I'll do it so you believe me uh, if I'm correct it goes like this uh, a wait no I don't have to use console commands for this I'm a bunger just delete so that's how it works anyway I'm gonna show you the timer where is it uh, here it is I'm gonna put it on and in 15 minutes I'll spin ala again so I'm gonna go down the route of immediately declaring war on Poland. Uh, and you know, I can of course do whatever I want. But if the wheel comes on like the declare war on a neighbor. Then I'll just use console commands to instantly declare war on a neighbor. You know, perhaps in order to declare war on Poland. I should actually start just fighting the wargle. I've been sitting here just forgetting to click it. If you ever feel useless, just remember. Paradox added this button to Hearts of Iron 4. The justification on Poland is finished and I have three minutes until the timer goes off. So let's hope I can take down Poland before that timer goes off. Because I give if I get a bad spin, I'm screwed. Okay, Warsaw's fallen. I have 15 seconds. Come on, boys, run. Oh, thank God. Um, well, the timer's going off, but I do have a peace deal. Should I first do the spin or the peace deal? I mean, I don't have any spins that have anything to do with peace deals. So I'm just going to do the peace deal first. Okay, done the peace deal. Now let's get to spinning. Spinala. Okay, I mean, I have to give away a state to a neighbor. I'm fine with that. I'm just gonna give Lithuania. We'll know. There you go, Lithuania. Enjoy your capital back. And I'll restart the timer. Okay, we are 15 minutes later again. It's time to Spinala the wheel. Yay, I have to declare war on a neighboring country. Let's just close this one and let's see who we want to declare war on. By the way, I am going to lower the timer to just 10 minutes because 15 minutes is a little long, I've noticed. Who do I declare war on? First of all, let's just al allow Diplo. I don't think it works. Oh, no, it does work with caps on. So, who do I want to declare war on that I am at least sure of that nobody will screw me over i'm thinking lithuania because that will also get me past one of my focuses let's just do lithuania and let's quickly divert one of my armies there you know lithuania really is the victim of my wheel spinning so far i mean in one they actually they got something back like a state but yeah this time they're fucked yeah lithuania was easily taken care of and now i've passed the focus i wanted to pass I can also pass Danzig or War. So let's try to get the Sudetenland now. Or Slovenia. Slovenia is more funny. After I finish my other focus. The partition of Poland. I forgot I... Wait, wait, I only just signed that treaty. That's stupid. You know what, Soviet Union? If you want to declare war on me for it, declare war on me for it. But I will wait bef so my units can walk there. So I have at least some units ready to, you know, to fight if they decide to actually declare the war on me. Oh my god, they actually did declare the war on me. Oh no. I'm saying oh no. However, I don't think it's that big of a deal. As long as I'm holding the line, this will be perfectly fine. Right? Why? Why? They're naval invading me. Why? Why? Why must you be like this? Why do you insist on being this annoying? Give me my tank division so they'll deal with it, hopefully. 
Luckily, the Soviet Union troops are garbage, and I am overrunning them quite rapidly. What? They actually... What? I'm at war with the Soviet Union, and they gave up Slovenia. Sure, why not? No, not again, not again, you stupid... You stupid bastards! Alright, 10 minutes have passed. Let's get back to Spinella. No, please, no! Ah... <sighs> Well, I guess I'll have to delete 500 tanks. Oh boy, this is going to be fun because I already lack 400 tanks. So, uh, a minus 500 Panzer A. Ah. Okay, it says it added a thousand. That's not supposed to happen. Okay, well, that's not. What? Huh? What? So it gave me. It 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 brought my stockpile back to. Okay, let me just... Because now I have to delete 433 more because I'm not going to cheat. So I'll take away the recon company from my infantry divisions. That hopefully gives me some extra... Yeah, that gives me extra. So now I'll delete the 500 plus the 433 that I got from bullshit. And it gave me another two... Th what? Okay, but then it gives me 933. So now I'll have to delete 1933. And it gives me another thousand. You know what I'll do? I'll delete all the Panzer 2 A's. Okay, that's 4,000 tanks, of which a few were cheated, I guess, because of bullshit. So yeah, I'll, what I'm gonna do right now is delete a thousand more tanks than I was supposed to, okay? There we go. They're gone. Let's hope you think this is fair. And if I come on one of those things again, like delete a certain amount... Even though I... It's bullshit that's supposed to work. Let me check my history. Have I ever deleted any equipment before? You know what? Whatever, I'll just uh, accept this and uh, we'll deal with it another time. So from now on, if I come on one of those, I'll just delete one of the equipments in my stockpile. and Which is a supposedly, uh, which I'll try to make about the same as the wheel says. Anyway, there go most of my light tanks, unfortunately. Hungary, could you stop justifying on Czechoslovakia, please? I'm doing the Sudetenland. You'll get your land via the focuses, okay, buddy? Yes? Okay, I've also just been given the Sudetenland. Nice. And I hear another naval invasion coming. Can you stop it? Soviet Union, please. Oh, you sons of a... Son of a bitch. Blah. You son of a bitch. You're landing in Danzig now. Okay, one of them will be stopped like this. Oh, nope. We're too late. Okay, let's hope we can deal with it anyway. It looks like my light tank divisions are very effective against them. That's very good. Time for another wheel spin. No, 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 no. Okay, I was almost afraid I had to delete all my tank divisions. God damn it. Okay, well, I get 50 political power. That's very nice. PP 50. Yay, 50 political power. Very nice. That could have been awful if I had to lose my tanks, man. Then I would have nothing left over to defend the coast. I mean, I could pull troops from down here, but I don't want to do that. All right, I have carved up Yugoslavia because for some reason they're still not willing to stop me from doing anything. Even though I'm at war with one of the, you know, the biggest countries in the world. France and the United Kingdom are just like, yeah, sure, do with the Balkans whatever you want. There's a coup in German Yugoslavia. Do they have any friends? They do not, and they are at war with the Soviet Union. Wait, I could just invite them back into my faction. What is this stupid shit? Okay, I'm way too afraid that if I um, declare war on them, they're going to do a funny and join the Allies. So I'm just going to be safe and invite them to the faction. And, of course, they called in Hungary into the war. I mean, it's not that big of a deal, just slightly annoying. Welcome to the faction, Italy. Please do not declare war on the allies for me. Well, boy, oh boy, it's time for another wheel spin. Ooh. Well, how lovely. I get three civilian factories. This could have gone a lot worse, I imagined. All right, let's show you how I will do this. I will go into console commands, instant construct, press three civilian factories wherever. I don't really care. Let's put them here. Two, one, two, three. Then I see again, and boom, three free civilian factories. Lovely. Hey, Romania finally wants to join the faction. Welcome to the faction. Please, for the love of God, do not join the war. How about I do anyway? They joined the war. Why? <laughs> you sons of bitches. I don't have any armies to spare. Or do I? Not really, so let's make another army. There we go, Czechoslovakia divided with Hungary. 
Okay, the Romanians are actually trying to get a encirclement. Let's help them out. Good boy, Romania. Oh, they actually managed. Let's go. Oh no, it's time to spin again. Wow, I am lucky. I can get a state and core it. I have a um, devious little plan. I'm choosing Texas and I get to core it. All right, so I took Texas and I cored it. Thank you for the civvies. Thank you for the shitloads of oil. This will surely be beneficial to the Rijk. Beautiful, isn't it? Having Texas, just because why not? So I could unleash World War II and attack Greece since they refused to yield to my command. But I think I'm gonna start pushing into the Soviet Union first a little bit. Just in case. Ah, yes. One funny focus later, and now German Bungary and German Romania exist. Okay, I'll have to delete my artillery since deleting a certain amount doesn't work. Let's see, what's the artillery like? Hmm. Hmm. So in order to do this, I'll have to take off artillery, then wait for the surplus to kick in, and then I'll have to delete about a thousand of it. Um, well, although this pains me, I'm gonna have to delete the 3000. Uh, I like the wheel. I'll reinstate the division template because otherwise it would be unfair. Go, oh boy oh boy, do I love having a deficit of 3000 artillery guns. Well, let's crank up production again then. I surely won't need these artillery guns to beat the Soviet Union. Alright, so some funny Russian man wants to fight for us. Yeah, sure, join us buddy. Where are the units you created? What are they? Russische Freiwilligers Divisions. Schön. They look okay, I guess. Can I? Can't I just turn them into my own? Yes, I can. Wonderful. Just join one of the other armies. That's uh, perfectly fine. Wait, did a general come with that? Not that I know of, no. Oh no, wait, this guy. Oh, seriously? He joined us? Damn! Okay, the timer went off again. Time for another Spinale. No. <laughs> Ooh, that came that came eerily close to me having to declare war on everyone. <sighs> but now I just lose stability. Yay. Okay, well, there you go. I lost 20 stability. Wait, what just happened? Italy. No, wait. Italy, you absolute dipshit. Why did you declare war on Greece? Okay, well, we'll deal with it um, by simply not joining that war. But the funny thing is Greece didn't join the allies, but the common turn. But the allies did guarantee them. Lovely. Just just lovely in it. Oh god, it's time again for another Spinella. No. <laughs> I'll have to change my doctrine. God damn it. I don't have the experience for it right now. But I guess I do have to change me doctrine. So let's just give myself enough experience to change it, okay? That's not cheating. It it the wheel has spoken, okay? It's not uh, not up to me. I don't make the rules, I only write them down and think of them, but I don't make the rules. There you go, I switched to superior firepower. If I do minus 100, does it, do I lose? Yeah, okay, now I'm back to normal experience. See, it wasn't even cheating. I feel like the allies are afraid I'm going to attack them. I like how I lost my artillery once and I still have not recovered from it. What? I hate you with such a passion, Italy. You are the biggest, the biggest disappointment ever. Oh my god, and you even let them land in Palermo, you goddamn dipshits. Ah, uh, guess I'm gonna have to deal with that again. Oh my god, they actually deposed him. Ah, uh, oh god, I love you, Italy. You are absolutely the best goddamn ally a German could wish for. I don't like this. Why did you let Australia land there? Because now they're gonna start taking down Bulgaria and Yugoslavia as well. Oh my god, these Fucking idiots! God damn Italian AI. Oh my god, a civil war in Italy even. Oh my god, you're worthless. It capitulated to the Soviet Union? God damn it, why? <laughs> I'm going insane. Wait, no, Mussolini. He exists. He lives in the Zara. What? God damn dipshits. Okay, let's... um. L let's see. Oh my god, I'm at war with them. No, I'm at war with them because of this. And the timer just went off. Okay, for, okay, whatever. Let's let's do let's do the spin first. Yeah, yeah. I mean, sure. Why not? I mean, sure. Why 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 not? Why not make this even worse on me? Okay, whatever. Okay, okay, okay. Let's see. I will just release Lithuania because that's the easiest one. Um, or Slovenia, I suppose. But uh, I'll release Lithuania. There you go, little Lithuania. Okay, released the nation. 
Now, second problem, this. Um, as long as the Romanians keep taking care of this, I can use my tanks too quickly. Wait, no, I have to defend that entire border. Oh, god damn it. Uh, and I have to defend this as well. Oh, no. Okay, that artillery deficit be damned. I'm gonna make 24 new divisions. Wait, please don't let America be in this war. I will lose my oil when they join because I have no units to spare. So, America, whatever you do, don't declare war on Japan or on me before the Russians fall. Alright? Maybe we can do this, guys. Maybe we can. Yeah, sure, this is not a problem. Why is the British Navy in the Baltic Sea? It's a slight little issue. Okay, we've almost entered Moscow, though. That's good. So at least something in it. <sighs> I'll have to delete my extra tanks, but I think I'm lucky because I don't have that many of those. Yeah, I have 65 extra tanks. That's dealable. Well, there they go, unfortunately. Oh god, we actually made it to Moscow. That's very good. And I have a full collab government, so all I'll need to do is take the other big cities. And then we should, we should have them taken care of. Timer went off, but um, I'm more concerned with whatever this is. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> I only have this guy that could possibly spare some units. Oh my fucking god, I have no idea what's going on there. Okay, first let's set this up and then do a quick Zbinala for you guys. God, let it be something good, please. No, not again. No. Damn it. Just... Give me some kind of like wiggle room here, guys. Jesus Christ. Wait, do I even have a stockpile? No. Okay, well, hey. I'm not doing anything else, okay? I delete my stockpile. Boom. It's gone. It's even in the minus. Yes? Happy. Cool. Now the other problem. Apparently they're in Berlin. <laughs> these are... These, the, I'm, not smi I'm not laughing because I'm happy. I'm laughing because I'm very, very frightened right now. Yeah, and they just keep walking. Okay, nice, nice. Come on, guys, hurry the fuck up, please. Ah, oh, fuck, and we again don't manage to take Sevastopol. Verdammt! Verdomme! Did we, did we get there? We got there. Okay, good. Now start walking. Just walk back to Berlin, please. Uh, okay, and Berlin is back in our control. We better retake Dresden before the Allies get any funny ideas. I'm running out of oil. Is that a sign that the Americans joined? Oh, no, 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 of course not, no. Not the Americans joined. Yeah, no, it's not the Americans, no. It's the fucking Mexicans. What the fuck do the Mexica... What the fuck are the Mexicans doing here? What the fuck, man? How did you get there? How did you get there? What? Okay, I think they walked and then the British retook it, but that's still kind of weird. Uh, okay, well, he actually died. Why are you still coming here britain your units they get shot on the sea and left with no supply bunch of bozos that's what they are i hate you britain with a fiery passion <sighs> oh my god i'm really starting to look like world war ii germany in real life right now <sighs> well anyway time for another spin <gasps> oh thank god we at least get something i can use finally something good well what research do i really want because I can choose anyone for free. I, yeah, I think I'm going to get modern tanks. Let's see if those can help me. I think someone just joined the war. Okay, thankfully that wasn't the United States. But Japan is now on our side. That's at least something, I guess. Oh, never mind. There's the United States. Thank you so unbelievably much, Italy, for getting the allies in this war for me. You are, like I said before, still the biggest disappointment in history. What the fuck is this, Russia? It's not even Russia, it's just a random Mongolian cavalry unit just walking through Romania. Jesus Christ, I have the most useless allies ever. Oh no, it's time for another spin, I'm scared. Okay, that's nice at least, I can use that. There we go, three free factories. Thank you, Wheel, for once actually giving me something useful. Wait, the Tibetan Empire? What? They're an imperial protectorate of Manchuko. What? So, Manchuko, the imperial protectorate of Japan, has its own imperial protectorate in Tibet. What happened? China hasn't even capi- What? I am- What? Why did this happen? What is this? What the hell, man? This is vanilla. This is vanilla hoi for. What is going on? Jesus bloody Christ, man. I even have historical eye on. And it's this weird. Oh my god, I got Stalingrad and Sevastopol. 
Oh, Sevastopol just in time before the reinforcements arrived. Is that enough? It's almost enough to capitulate them. God damn it. Push to Leningrad. Quickly, please. Then we can get them. I hope to get to Leningrad before the next roll spin. But that is now. So let's do the spin. And hope it's not too bad. <laughs> that would have been... <laughs> it was this close to landing on letting the AI run the nation for a month. That would have ruined this game instantly. But at least this is doable because I only have to declare war on a neighbor. But that's fine, I'll do that. Okay, let's see. Who should we declare a war on? Let's see. Who should we declare war on? I'm thinking just do Denmark. Okay, I'm still thinking we should just do Denmark. That's the safest option, so... Bada bing, bada boom, there we go. Okay, anyway. Leningrad, can we take it? They are literally at 99% towards capitulation. I don't think Leningrad will even be needed. If I take any kind of city, they will fall now. But I mean, Leningrad would be the best one. So, let's see if that works. Yeah, that's going. Come on. Then we can end this war and finally take care of the allies. Okay, we got it. Now all I have to do is wait. The game is frozen. That's a good sign. Okay, okay guys, we actually have a chance now. I did not expect that in the furthest, but thank the lord. If I'm correct, I have player-led peace conference on, so let's just pass and get all the points I can. Anyway, I just want von Rundstedt back on the western front. Oh my god, that gave us so much guns and artillery. Oh, that's very good. Another spin. Okay, I have high hopes for this one. Oh, god fucking damn it, I have to delete another shitload of guns, god damn it. Okay, well I do have the guns, um, so I'll delete this 2000 and this 3000, and that should be 5000. There we go. Guns are gone, I did my thing, okay? Okay, with that epic Soviet equipment, we are finally able to kick the British out of my land. The bloody bastards. Oh look, a tasty pocket, I'm posting that on Reddit so I can get some extra karma. Oh my god, they're retreating. We have to take Hamburg before they can. Damn it, hold them off. Cut them off. Cut as many as you can off. God damn it, they are not allowed to retreat. Where's the navy? Have the navy take care of it. This cleanup here with all the equipment is going so incredibly smooth now. It's just insane. Okay, well, the cleanup is almost completely finished. Then we'll take care of Denmark. But first, it's spinal time. And I just noticed this little problem down here. So let's take care of that next. Oh boy, oh boy, I have to give away a state to a neighbor. Give away a state to a neighbor, you say? Oi, Japan, you may have North Sakhalin, because I do actually own that. There you go, little buddy. Enjoy. I did as the wheel commanded. Do not judge me. I need to take quick care of Denmark, because then I can finally spare the units to take care of this, this whole issue. Oh, thank God, there goes Denmark and Estonia. Then I should be able to make Unterrichtskommissariat Ostland. Perfect. That will mean I have to take care of less land. That's good. And now all those units can go take care of that southern front problem. Spinella time. No! God damn it. Uh, I have to delete 10 infantry divisions. Lovely in it. Alright, which bozos am I gonna delete? Let's just take 10 of you. Oh no, they're gone. Let's make 10 new ones. I have land from Finland, which I'm just gonna give back because it's causing me way too much trouble. There you go, Finland. Enjoy it. I just realized that I'm out of manpower. Let's get some more. I could always spare some by giving away some states of Russia to some puppets. The Komi Republic? A reference to Komi can communicate. I'm releasing it. Wow! Oh, it's just called the new Permian state. Now I don't want it anymore. So from this point on, the recording got fucked for like 1 hour and 20 minutes, the last part of the video. But it's, a it's kind of a big part of the video, because it's the video in which you um, see me turn the tie and take down England and France. I'll make it into a time lapse, I hope you enjoy watching it. If not, you know, I'll put a timestamp you can skip towards the end. So yeah, I hope you enjoy. Farbet, Brüder, es geht um Volk und Land. Manches Lied kam von uns aus dem Herzen. Es besang unser Vaterland steht. Ist der Abschied auch voll unserer Schmerzen. Für mein Russland bin ich unterwegs. 
und du hast deinen Kopf hoch erhoben, dein Gesicht zu der Sonne gewandt. Von den Lügen warst du einst umwoben, doch von Gott bist du nun ausgesandt. Fanfaren im März ertönen zur Schlacht. Zum Recht geht das Herz, dem Glauben stehen wir zur Macht. Für uns gibt's kein Verrat, vorwärts nun, vorwärts, Soldat. Einst für den Zaren sind wir gefahren, nun schreiten wir zur ehrenen Tat. Eins für den Zaren sind wir gefahren, nun schreiten wir zur ehrenen Tat. Unsere Heiligen warten auf diesen Sieg, Christus leiden ist unser Ziel. Für den Glauben nun ziehen wir in den Krieg, das Wort Gottes ist unser Panier. Sei der Bund auch beschworen in schwerer Zeit, unser Glaube sei nun Schild und Wehr. Und so loben wir Treue in Ewigkeit, unserem einzigen Gott, unserem Herrn. Fanfaren im März ertönen zur Schlacht. Zum Recht geht das Herz, im Glauben stehen wir zur Wacht. Für uns gibt's kein Verrat, vorwärts nun, vorwärts, Soldat. Einst für den Zaren sind wir gefahren, nun schreiten wir zur ehrenen Tat. Einst für den Zaren sind wir gefahren, nun schreiten wir zur ehrenen Tat. Vorwärts, Brüder, es geht um Volk und Land, und wir sind treue Kinder für Russlands Macht, für die Heimat der Ehre und Ruhm. Keine Schonung für uns in der blutigen Schlacht, es gibt für uns den Streitern kein Ruhm. Wir befreien das Land aus der Sklaverei, für den Kampf bereit, das sind wir. Und zu Ende wird sein aller Barbarei, frei dich ein, denn der Herr ist mit dir. Bis Nova Pagod, du Banner Sowjot, du siehst ganz treu, wie sie Podiums herrscht, Jenny Boy. So, um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed that time lapse because the recording got fucked. Uh, the, the sound got fucked. I sounded like a robot. I don't know how it happened. Well, I mean, I kind of think I know how it happened, but, but it sucked. So, I'm sorry about that. Still, I hope you enjoyed watching the video. Thank you for watching as well, very much, because it's, it's quite a long one if you watched it all the way through. I did enjoy doing the wheel though, so if you also like the wheel, you know, maybe subscribe, like, uh, leave a comment if you want anything to be added onto the wheel. You can also join my Discord and give me suggestions there, or just, you know, to do talk and shit. Recording this video, by the way, took a really long time. I was, like, busy from 3 in the afternoon until, like, 9 at night. Jesus Christ, that was long. Anyway, again, I hope you enjoyed watching. Thank you for watching. See you guys next time. How do?